today we are going to do a little more, uh, a little math of five. Uh, so uh, this isn't uh, just for practice uh, with the uh, upper over here, but for practice with all uh, other, uh, all other students who are watching, including uh, ten-year-olds, eleven-year-olds, twelve-year-olds. Anybody can watch this. So uh, first, we're going to start with this problem. Think root three plus two root three hundred. So. Uh, now for this one, we will need to uh, cover square roots if some of you don't know what square roots are. So, let me just erase this. So, we will need to cover square roots. So, uh, what are the perfect squares? What are the perfect um, squares between what? The perfect squares between 1 to 100. So what is the first perfect square? So what is the first perfect square? I'll try to write it down. Okay, can you uh, write it down what the first perfect square is? Okay. I assume you have access to the board. Yes. So, uh, can you write what the first perfect square is? So, the square root of what is uh, 1? The square root of what is 1? Okay, square root of 1. Okay. So, basically, if you do 3 times 3, 4 times 4? Yeah, that will give you the... No, uh, that's three square. The that? square root reverses this process. What is the first perfect square? Yeah, what what's the, the first? Uh, the answer one four and a nine. Is? So I'm going to write the square root of four. Uh, the square root of what is four next? You see that the square root of one is one. That's yeah. a nine. So uh, that's a nine. Yeah, I get one. So the square root of what is four? Wait, what? The square root of what is four? Uh, square root of what is four? Four times four is sixteen. Okay. Uh, good. The square root of what is 5? Very good. Do it very slowly, very slowly. Yeah. The square root of what is 5? It's, it's basic. 5 times 5 is 25. Oh, okay. So, good. What is the square root of what is six? Square root of what is uh, six? So What do you think is uh, the square root of what is 6? Oh. Oh, 
day, but... Where did he get it? 626 and 36. 7 times 7 is 49. 64, 81. Um, 10 times... That's 100. Good! So, See, uh, you did all the... We did all the perfect squares. So... We have to erase everything now. So, um, I'm going to discuss why we're erasing this mess. So, uh, now we're going to split all the uh, square roots into perfect squares. Hmm. Seems like my eraser isn't working. So, first, uh, we have four square root of three. Well, so there's an easy way to do, uh, determine this first try. Is three, three prime? Three prime? Is that three prime? Uh, her camera froze again. So we have a uh, technical difficulty again. So, um, <coughs> Here we, I'm going to introduce what we have to do uh, next. So, we must split up the, the 300 into one of, uh, we must split up the 300 into a number and a, a perfect square. And because 300 must be a multiple of a perfect square, right? So, that's what we are are going to do. I don't want to, to get too ahead of ourselves, so we are going to wait here. No, her camera froze. It's frozen. Connecting. She went back again. All right, have a really unstable connection, it seems. It's a freezing. Okay, uh, I hope we don't have that problem anymore. So, well, okay, but first we have to know how to simplify square roots. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Square root of 50. How can you simplify that? What are you saying? How can you simplify this expression? I guess. Oh, shoot. Seems like it froze again for you. So how can we simplify this? So how do you think we should simplify this? How do you think we should simplify this? So, um, okay. Um, is it this? Is it that? Okay. Wait. So. Is it that? Uh, I'm going to help you with this one. It's not twenty-five. Uh, square root of six hundred twenty-five oh. is twenty-five. Uh, it's fine. Let me show you how to do this. 
So Fine. we're going. I knew it. I'm like in this room. So uh, don't wait. Why can I hear your voice? Don't leave your uh, temper that much. There's a little audience watching you. So, has this beep? Has perfect square factor, probably. So, let's look at the biggest uh, perfect square factor it can have. So, one is obviously a factor, but that's a factor of all numbers. So, if we met. Is four a factor of fifty? Is four a factor of fifty? Four a factor of fifty. Can you divide fifty by four and still get a whole number? I'm not sure. Four is. Let me see. Let me think. Let me think. No, four is not a factor of fifty. Uh, no, it isn't. So, uh, for fifty divided by four is obviously a twelve point five, which is definitely not whole for a line up. So we can erase that. Four isn't exactly the best. The four isn't exactly the best choice. Okay. Now we have not is nine a factor of fifty? Is nine a factor of fifty? Can you divide fifty by nine and get still get a whole number? Do you think you can still get a whole number? So, uh, what's 50 divided by 9? Is it a whole number? Can you uh kind of respond, please? So yes. is nine a factor of fifty? A nine factor of what? A nine a factor of fifty. On gamble, right? So is nine a factor of fifty? So, what is 50 divided by 9? Is 9 a factor of 50? Will you get a whole number when you divide 9 by 50? Mm -hmm. so, uh, I... Okay, can you uh, respond kind of? Can you respond? So, uh, 50 divided, no, she didn't freeze, doesn't look like, but they're still, no, she's still making scam from the back. Okay, so, uh, no, it's not frozen. Okay, so 50 over 9. What's 50 over 9? Will it give you a whole number? <laughs> Will that give you a whole number? Okay, well, let's see. 50 divided by 9. Well, as you can see, it definitely did not give us a whole number. It definitely did not.
Okay. So. Okay. So. So. Ten fifty over nine is five point five. So, uh, I'm having trouble uh, writing. I can't draw. I can't draw again. Okay, so, um, you could see, uh, 50 divided by 9 would not a whole number. So, 9 is not a factor of uh, 50. Exactly. Well, all we have to do is make it. So, <laughs> Yay! All right, having a bit of technical difficulties. So, a nine doesn't seem like a factor of fifty. Now, what is the next perfect square, Apple? Can you respond? What the yes. next perfect square? What the next perfect square? For what? Uh, look, one four nine. What's that? What the next perfect one, square? One four nine. Sixteen. Okay. So, do you think sixteen is a factor of fifty? Think sixteen is a factor of fifty? Wait, what happened? Okay, do you think sixteen is a factor of fifty? A factor of 15. 16 is a factor of 4. We're not doing that. It's 16 a factor of 50. This number over here. Yes. Um, no. It's a multiple. Multiples and factors mean the same thing. Oh. Well, no, in no. that case, it's the same thing. No, let me check what 50 divided by 16 is. 3.125. That doesn't seem a whole, does it? This gives us 3.125. Now, do, do you think 25 is a multiple of 50? Yeah. A factor. Do you think uh, 25 is a factor of 50? We'll talk about multiples and factors later. The difference. 25 is a factor of 50. 
Multiplication well, works like two times three is six. Well, you can put a square root on all those guys and they still work. Root two times root three is still root six. So uh, it's pretty easy. You can't hear a thing you just said. Okay, so uh, uh two times three is six. If you put a square root on every term of that equation, that still is true. Root two times root three is still, root two times root three is still uh, root six. Now, we're going to look at uh, 2 root 300. So, no, no. We have to give a little more examples here. Okay, so, uh, root 2 root 3 will equal root 6. Okay, so... That means, what can root 50 be? Root 25, root 2, right? Do you think root 50 can be root 25, root 2? Okay, this is what it would get. 25 root 25 root 2. And the root 25 is 5. So 5 root 25 root, is 5. So that means the simplified form of root 50 is 5 root 2. Now let's uh, get into another example as we just hit the half an hour mark. Finish the thing. It doesn't matter. Go on. Yeah, just uh, saying we've hit the half an hour. All three problem is to run this thing. So, uh, now we are going to... So, we are going to do two more examples. So, simplify square root of 160 and simplify the square root of 200. You can try yourselves. Uh, if you need help, you can always ask me. I have to do this? Uh, yeah. You can uh, do as much work as you like. You just need to come up with the answer for this. Which one? Uh, Which one do I do? I, uh, you can do uh, either one. Choose me. You can choose either one. It's your choice. Choose which one do you want. Any problems? Okay, so try choosing the root 200 one. 
Take as much time as you like. So, while we are here, we are, um, you can solve these uh, problems too. Let's see. Is this right? Huh? Uh, can you write it on Jamboard? Can you write it on Jamboard? Can you uh, show? Can you show your answer? Which? I'm confused. Which one did you do? Which one did you do? Which one did you do? What? Which problem did you do? So we're supposed to pick out of four problems? I... Oh, no. it's over here. Okay. Yeah, they can do both. Uh, you can uh, do both. So... 100. Okay, uh... No. Uh, can you write it a little on the link? No. So she has to write the equal sign, and there is one on the link. That makes no sense. Okay. Do one. Show her this problem. Do this one. Model it. And then she will do this one. Okay. So I'm going to do this one for you. Uh, so I'm going to model how you are supposed to do it. So. Why are you writing it here? Look at this. So 160 has a perfect square factors. One is for all uh, everything. Four is not its greatest factor. So we can cross that out. Four isn't its greatest factor. Now nine isn't a factor. I believe nine is uh, the closest number that uh, is 162. That's a multiple of nine. No, a factor of nine. So what? Um, 16, 16. all right, so, uh, 16 is, seems to be the greatest common factor between, uh, it seems to be the greatest common factor of 160. So, that's a perfect square, at least. So, common factor of 160, the greatest. So, what is 160 divided by 16? What's 160 divided by 16? Yeah. 
ask, what is 160 divided by 16? Look at panel four. Wait, what was the question? What, uh, what is 160 divided by 16? Look at panel four. Divided by four, 160? You don't no. you don't see it as you. He wrote he, he wrote 160 divided by 16. You don't see that on the board. Oh. Yeah, four. You don't see, do you see that or you don't see that? I see it now. Okay, so if if you are not sure, you can use the calculator. What is 160 divided by 16? Isn't it 10? Uh, yes, good. 10. So then write 16. Ten. Write 16 here, 10 here. No, 16, 10. So, and the square root of 16 is 4. So, the, ten, the most simplified version of this is 4 root 10. Now, how uh how do it how I did it but with this problem. You have to do uh, all your work below and not above. It's confusing. So cross that hundred. Uh, you can erase it. Okay. So you have to do it. I do do it the way he did it. Now now you have to do a square root of two hundred. Think about. Do you see square root of 200? Yeah. Square root of 200. Do you see square root, square root of 200? Yes. Okay, so do it the way he did it. I can see it. Okay. What was the question? Do you see square root of 200? Yes, simplify square yes. root of 200. So you have to simplify it. The way he simplify is square root of 160. Okay? Uh, did you see him simplifying square root of 160? Did you see him simplifying square root of 160? Yes. What is the answer for square root of 160? 80. Was that? She said 80. No, not 80. Not 80. The square root of 160 is 4 root 10. 4 root 2. 10. 4, 4 root 10. You, okay, 10. do it again. You're going to do it again. So you're going to have to do it again. Go ahead, do it again. Erase and do it again. This time you have to pay attention. Go. All right. Let's do this. So it's kind of hard to uh, erase. I'm going to do it as quick as I possibly can. So please pay attention this time. She's oh. gone. No, see, I think she turned her camera off. And now it's back on. Okay, so I'll change my color back to blue. Square root of 100 and. Ask her if she's it. Right? You can see this, right? You can see this, right? So, uh, Do you see that? Do you see square root of 160, Azu? Panel 4. Look at. Go to panel four. She's hopefully she's already on panel four. Do you see square root of yes, one? Yes, I can see it. Okay. okay, now now look how he does it first. So, uh, let's uh, one sixty. So first, let's find its greatest perfect square factor. So. So write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. Oh, okay. We're looking at the perfect square factor. Okay, sure. So, 
is let's look so is one's always a factor is four the greatest common factor is four the greatest okay so we can cross that off she didn't say anything wait for her for her response is she, for she is took her head no she can let her say it okay is four the greatest common factor Raju? yes is four the greatest common factor of 160 if we can the hear a word you guys are staying okay is four the what is the difference between factor and greatest common factor what is the difference between a regular factor and the greatest factor? Greatest common factor means the number that the number that is the most and that closer. For example, 160 can be eight. Uh, 160 can be no. The eight, the, the eight, eight is is a factor, but it's not the greatest common factor. Neither a perfect square. So eight eight is not the great common greatest common factor for for hundred. What is the greatest common factor for hundred? For for four, what is the greatest common factor for four? Two. Uh, for nine. Three. Okay. For ten. <laughs> but, uh, five. Yeah. Five is the greatest common factor. Five goes to ten. Two also goes to ten, but two is not greatest common factor. Okay. So for one hundred sixty, what is the greatest common factor? Okay. Look. So eighty. Eighty. Or sixteen. Yes, yeah, sixteen. Eighty is the factor, but eighty is not a perfect square. You are looking for perfect square. Yes, we're looking uh, for a perfect square. So. You can split the square root of 160 into square root of 16 and square root of 10. So, what is the square root of 16, Apu? What's the square root of 16? What's the square root of 16? What is the square root of 16, Ajo? Square root of 4. Good. So this why why are you writing four over there? That's not um, that's not uh, that's not legal. You should not writing over there. You should be writing underneath. Okay. Pay attention to those small things. Okay. So four square root of ten would be the simplified form of one sixty. Now do two hundred. Square root of two hundred. This this time you do it yourself. I'm gonna watching it. Remember, we have the square root of 10 from here. So, look, 160 divided by 16 is a leftover 10. We have to take that 10 into account. This is not how you should be doing, Aju. First, you're gonna you're gonna find the greatest common factor of two hundred. Greatest common perfect square factor. So let's start checking with one. Okay, it's, one is with all all of them. So we can one is with all of them. So, so no, we don't can, don't even check one. You start checking with two. No, no, you mean four. We are doing the perfect square factor. Oh, perfect square factor. So check four. And then check, uh, check nine. So one, four, nine, and then sixteen. Okay. Is and then the greatest common factor. So right. Okay. The good way is write one, four, nine, all the perfect square. One, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. All the, all the perfect square that are less than this. Right. 
Forty-nine. All right, stop, stop. It's not gonna be more than that. Okay. Right. Now go do some research. Okay. So is four the greatest common factor? Uh, no. Good. It's only uh, the two hundred divided by four is all, uh, only fifty. Also, we will need more. We'll see why. Up to 100, so 64, 81, oh, yeah, that's right. 100. So, what, it's 4. Now, it's 9, uh, and 9 a multiple of 200? <laughs> no. is the greatest common factor. Somehow he, you just told that. So, 100 times 2 is 200, right? So, you can do that with square roots also. Yes. So, what would root 200 be? How could you split it up into two square roots? No, we have to find the factor, the greatest common factor of 100. No, no, we don't have to do that anymore. 50? We don't have to do that. Oh. So, uh, let's just erase that. Uh, so, how could you split up 200 into its greatest common factor and the remainder after? What root what? What? How can you split 200 into the two square roots? Look, we found the greatest perfect square factor. So that has to be one. So what is the remainder after dividing 200 by 100? Well, how, what is do you get after dividing 200 by 100? What do you get when dividing 200 by 100? Four hundred divided by one hundred gives you oh racer, sorry. Two. So not, not twenty, two thousand by divided by one thousand is you twenty. You have to cancel out the zero. So that will give you two over one. It's just two. So what could be in the second square root? What could be in the second root? What number? It should be two. Good. No. Huh? I said you have to cancel out the zero. So there's no zero. Look, two had two zeros. One, uh, 200 had two zeros. 100 had two zeros. So 200 divided by 100, you can cancel out the zero. That gives you. 2 divided by 1. There should be only a 1. Uh, there should only be a square root of 2. So, what is the square root of 100? What's the square root of 100? What is the one hundred fifty? What did we no. learn earlier? What did we Ten. learn? Good. And root uh, two is root two. It's because I'm thinking a hundred fifty is a half of a hundred. So that's why. 
50 is a factor of 100, but we uh, we don't have the common factor in anymore. We just have to square root 100. We don't have to common factor it. Don't overthink stuff. <sighs> All right, I think it's time to move on to the next question. Yeah. It's been Can I solve the next question? Okay. So... So do we uh, continue making three examples, or should we keep it with two examples? Two examples. Oh, I'm okay on it. Okay, root 7, root 42, plus 5, root 7. Okay. Now, uh, first, what is the squ a square root of 42? How can you split up 42? What? Uh, how can you uh, split up 42 so that... Uh, uh, how can you split up uh, 42 so that one of the square roots matches this? So essentially, what is root well, what is 42 divided by 7? So essentially it's 42 divided by 7. Alright, I'm going to bring the camera a little closer. So, what's 42 divided by 7? Forty two divided by what? Seven. Forty two divided by seven. Six. Six. So one of the uh, square roots would be That was fast. Seven. And one of the square roots would be six. You're you keep on getting frozen. Uh I don't think it's frozen. I didn't look like it. So. Maybe it doesn't look too good. Okay. So, uh. 7 root 42 plus 5 root 7. Okay. So. Uh, we are just going to start with an example as of now. Yeah, we're just going to create a new frame. Can I solve the next one? Please. Okay, root 5. Alright. This should be a learning opportunity for everyone. Okay, uh, I thought you said you would try to solve it. Damn. Oh, on channel 5 problem. It's on channel 5 problem. Uh, not, nothing on channel 5. Doesn't seem like there's anything new on channel 4. Oh, she said she's in the notebook. Why? Isn't she talking about the notebook? It's kind of difficult to write, so no, I... No, she has to read that to the book. She has to read that to the Okay. She said she wanted to try to do this one by herself, so I'm just giving her a tiny chance. So, second question was this. Uh, how in the world do I break this? Oh, 
I look like we have another technical difficulty. Oh, what's this? Uh, 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 no, uh, it's about the Zoom call again. 85! Don't worry, uh, don't worry, I'm sure this will be fine. So, so it's a technical difficulty. getting so many technical difficulties. Okay, sure. Yeah, I see she's getting nicer. Okay, I will call you back. Waiting for her patiently to try to talk to him. Well, you can provide background. I did it. I have one question. Uh, why is there a minus here? Okay. Uh, somehow he did. Oh, good. Very good. Very good. But um, she has to. Uh, yeah. So it's time to come now. All right. I'll make the problem a little harder. Because oh, she did, did you do song number three? Uh, no. Go to number three and end the day. Because uh, you, you tell her that you want to challenge her tomorrow. Yeah, I'll challenge you tomorrow. It's been an hour. We'll just move on to panel three and try this problem. And that's going to be the end. You can finish number three. You'll be fine. Yeah. So, simplify completely. I'm going to give you one hint. And one hint only. Oh, it's so hard to write. That's your only hint. What hint? You didn't give me a hint. Oh, here. 98 over 7 is the key. Hey, <laughs> the 
be honest, it is kind of obscure what to do. Do you think you need a little help? Let me see. What do I think? Okay, uh, do you need a little help? Do you need a little help? Uh, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to give you the first step. Seven, root fourteen. Divided by seven. What are you doing? Uh, look, uh, panel three, panel three. Write your answer at least here. What's your answer to question three, panel three? Frame oh, okay. So next question. Um, what is it? I gave you the first so step to this question because you said you needed our help. That's one way of writing across. Okay, right? Good. But uh, how do you make a cross like that? That's one way of writing across. I guess. What happened? This is one way of writing across. Uh, I definitely hate writing. This is not right. Uh, this is right, but how do you write a cross like this? Oh, the X. It's because I was too lazy to do this. <laughs> okay, so, uh, bye everybody.